And if they had asked us back, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Uh, I think but- that now that he had his break, he's towards the end of um, his filming season eight, he was getting um, I had a little some- jacksy. Yeah. <laughs> I had, and, I, and, I, and my mental health was taking a yeah. huge hit. All right, welcome back, beautiful people. This is Forever Young. I'm Dr. John Lakey, and I am excited today because we're catching up with some old friends. You might recognize them from Vanderpump Rules. Um, And we're going to talk about relationships, balancing mental health and fame, and these two have really dealt with it all. So they're Jax Taylor and Brittany Cartwright, longtime life partners, previous Vanderpump Rules co-stars, and now parents. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. I know you guys are busy and you've got a lot going on, which we'll get into. Um, And just being parents. I mean, uh, the interesting part, I just saw post on Cruz's second birthday. He is such a handsome man. Thank you. Congratulations. It's hard to talk about when you have three. (laughs) Complaining about one child. (laughs) You know, know, the interesting part is I have always said you kind of play to the level of your game. So, you know, for us, when we had twins first, it was all we knew. Oh, yeah, that's true. So having a third singlet, we were like, oh, man, this isn't that bad. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, it is all relative. Yes. So. He's amazing, though. Yeah, it's he's the best great, thing that's ever really, happened to us, that's for sure. Yeah. We, he's a really, really good kid. Uh, you know, we have no problems with him. I mean, he just never cries, just Talk always smiling. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, exactly. exactly. Just, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I know how I was as a kid. I thought for sure my kid was going to be a hellraiser. But uh, he's just so like he's so. He's chill. a lot more chill than both of us are. If that yeah, makes any yeah, sense. Yeah. Like he is super calm. Man. Well, this is why God does that. You're like, oh, maybe I'll have a second or a third. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're Be already getting the itch. Up on you right Yeah, there. Uh, trust yeah. me, we're already thinking about it. So oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Listen, it's been a long history. And I think that uh, America has seen the ups, the downs, the goods, the bads. Um, But ultimately, you two have stood the test of time. And so maybe kind of talk about your relationship. Where are you at now? I know you guys have it's it's been it's got to be hard enough being on the behind the lens of a camera or in front of the lens of a camera um, and also maintaining your own relationship. I mean, Uh, how difficult. I think us having the this like we kind of had like a three year break from being on reality TV. Everybody Mm -hmm. went through COVID and, you know, the pandemic and everything. And honestly, that probably helped our relationship a lot because it can be so stressful to be on reality TV. I mean, we were very blessed and we did so many amazing things, but there's so much pressure. Everybody's judging your relationship. So it could be a lot. But I think it made us stronger and especially having Cruz has made everything just so much better. Yeah, because we actually were just talking about this the other day. We've never not been on the show together. Yeah. So when we met, it went right into the show. So we had that break of, you know, not being on the show. And we were just like, this is awkward because now we, we've, this is our real life. This is, yeah. <laughs> this is not, this is, this is not the television show. So it was a nice little break. We, I we definitely, definitely needed it. Um, you know, just with, like you said, mental health wise and, and, uh, being on a show for eight years, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. It was a blessing. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Of course. I mean, listen. but, um, it, no it was doubt. it was a, a blessing in disguise. We just kind of need to needed a little check and needed to like get back to us a little bit and and take a break from um, the TV world. But uh, now we're getting back into it again. And, uh, <laughs> I know. I was gonna say. Uh, listen, I love that. I love that you did take that break, and I do think it's important because, like I said, it's like you know I, I envision sometimes it might be too drastic of a, but you're under the the uh, looking glass mm-hmm. and the sun's beating in and it's like frying ants because. You know, it's every now and then we have a skincare line. Beverly Hills MD, you know. Love it. We love it. Every now and then we'll get some disgruntled patient. And I remember the first one I ever received where it was this negative comment about my character or things like that. And it affected me so much. And Mm -hmm. Kendall, my wife, said, she was like, look, they're having a bad day. They took the time out of their way to do this and you can't take it to heart. And, uh, you know, I think that that is a learning point. You guys are literally in a vice and it's got to be difficult to have a relationship, to have a normal, yes. you know, 
I right. mean, everybody, everybody judges in, everything. And then, you know, there's so many trolls on social media. Uh, where do these people yeah. come I, from? I know. Like, where do they come Where do you, how do you have the time yeah, in your yeah, day yeah, yeah. to of the sit people, down and be like, I'm going to critique this person that I've never met in my entire life <laughs> yeah. off a television show that I chose to watch. Yes, exactly. I'm going to critique this person and be like, you should do this. You, like, who are you to do that? And like, I where know, do these people come from? Like, it's crazy. 30 years ago, yeah, never, thanks, never thanks, in your professor. life. If you didn't yeah. like something, you'd be like, yeah, you know, I'm not like, for instance, if you went to a restaurant and you said, I don't like this, you just leave and say, we're out of here. Now you've got to go in and talk about it and critique it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. who are you to do that? Like, yeah. what do these people have the time? Yeah, yeah but it yeah. could be a lot, especially for somebody like me, because I, I'm a people pleaser and like a people person. I don't like people to, to not like me, even if it's a stranger sure. who doesn't have a photo. It really gets to me. So I can't even look at comments sometimes yeah, yeah. because no yeah. matter what, I mean, I would like to say even God could have an Instagram and he would get yeah, negative yeah, comments yeah, yeah. from no, somebody. Oh, it's true. Like there's nothing. Like it's just how the world is today. It's well, it's, you're giving, it can be a lot. You're giving all these trolls and all this an outlet. That's what social media is. You yeah. gave all these people who never had an outlet before an outlet. And so now they're coming out of the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love them. I love, those, fighting, I love it like, when they're arguing back and forth. Yes, right? people like, will fight uh, in the comments with each other. And like sometimes I'll just go and like the person that's like taking up for me. Like get them, girl. <laughs> well, listen. Now um, you have replaced looking at some of those comments yeah. uh, with a brand new podcast. Tell me about this. Yes. When reality hits, actually, awesome, yeah, it's awesome. it's awesome. And and I, like I was telling you before, uh, podcasting's fun. It yeah, is fun. It's I, a lot I of fun. never knew how much fun it could be, you know. And um, what I like about it is that you get to clarify a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We yeah. do a weekly podcast, and now if something happens, I can clarify it the next week. If I don't like the way I was, you know, we were looked, or we don't, I can go back into the episodes of Vanderpump Rules and say, hey, this wasn't how this happened. This is how it really happened. Or if you tweet something and or, you need to clear it. Up. <laughs> I have a, I have a tendency a to tweet things, <laughs> yes, uh, yes. especially after a few cocktails. I will get disgruntled oh, and I will. It drives me crazy. Yeah. I love it. I yeah, love but it. It, it's a lot of fun, and um, you know, uh, you know, you get to talk about things that with like other parents. You know, mm. I was considered a villain on reality TV, so <laughs> I uh, I also want to have some villains that are on reality TV and kind of they get to kind of clarify themselves a little bit. Love uh, that. Talk. Maybe we should even talk about some of our troll comments. That's kind of a yeah, good idea. The, the I might, exactly. I might start is... calling some people out <laughs> yeah. from Instagram. Hey, listen, <laughs> it's, it's, it's public, talking... it's public yeah. knowledge right there, so why not? <laughs> I'm talking to other parents that are on reality TV. How do they deal with being a parent on reality TV? How do you deal Love like so going about being a villain? How how are you, you know, treated being a villain on TV? Because a lot of us are misunderstood I sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you know sometimes you're not edited the right way and why how did you well, get that into this? i think for some of our listeners they need to know that because we know in in this part of the world right and in, in, in the entertainment city that they can film an entire show you could have done the most amazing thing in the world and they left all the important oh, stuff yeah. out and just put in the bad stuff yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And, and that's editing folks that's, that's how really how and shows how create but that's uh, also viewership. what people want to watch right. they don't right. want right. to watch us get in the way we love car crashes yeah you know? it's <laughs> yeah like, i mean it, it's terrible it's so but it's crazy. true i've said this so many times it's like you know when we were filming we filmed for hours hours and hours days mm -hmm. and days we have back when we first started it was like 26 episodes and we would just film and film and film. And then you would only see the part, the crazy part. Yes. You know, I, I'd watch it. I'd be like, that's not how it started. Know, that's, that's not, not how it happened. ended. Like, and people go, that guy's crazy. He's crazy. Well, you didn't see how it started. You this didn't is see Jax's how it, favorite thing to say. You yep. didn't see how it ended. Because it bothers me because there's only 45 minutes in a show. And then you got right. 15 minutes of commercials, right? right. So you got six storylines. So you got to be quick. So everything, there's going to be like a little bit of each person. So they're only going to put, when I went crazy, they're not going to, they don't have the time in the show to say, well, how this started, how it ended. Oh. It makes for a good show, though. It does make yeah, for a great show, well, but it's speaking, kind of frustrating. Speaking of some of these uh, events, and I'm sure you're probably sick of talking about it, but not at all. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> you know, listen. I guess the first question, you know, you're no longer on the show, um, but I'm sure they would want you back. And let's say they have asked you to come back. The first question is, would you? Second is. I know that uh, we're looking at some of your friendships. Do you still maintain them? What's happening in the news right now? I mean, these are some of your friends. Yeah. yeah I'm sure it's created issues. It's, yeah. it's all been well, crazy. To answer your first question, if they had asked us back, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Um, I think like, that now that he had his break, he's towards the end of um, his filming season eight, he was getting um, I had a little some, jacksy. Yeah. <laughs> I had, and, I, and, I, and my mental health was taking a huge yeah. hit. Like I was trying to figure out what I needed to do with him. But I, was I think just, after this break, you're 
ready. I mean, I'm always ready, but I think that you're ready I, too I, now. It was eight years of being drilled. Like yeah, I was yeah, yeah. being, I was being hammered for eight years. Yeah. I was the villain of the show for yeah. eight years, yeah. just being hammered, hammered. And I have thick skin. I do. Yeah, but after yeah, a while, I don't it. care how thick your skin is. After yeah, eight yeah. years, it takes a toll. That's right. And I was really questioning my mental health at the end because I was just getting really upset with that. I was breaking down. I was crying. Making I was like stupid mistakes, making a decisions. lot of dumb mistakes yeah. at the end, and just and just like trying to figure out do i need to go to therapy like where where was my head going and your I dad was, just passed away i mean there was a lot of my things. father yeah, passed gotta, away yeah, there was a lot of things so that were sorry. going on uh you know i wasn't talking to my mother and there was just a lot going on and i was just like i i was just collapsing i was yeah. collapsing and yeah. uh you know not blaming uh reality tv i chose to be in this world but mm -hmm. gosh it was just taking a I was taking a beating. Well, I'm I was glad you. I'm, listen, I'm glad you saw it, recognized it. Most people can't, and so I, I, I give I give you kudos for that because you know it, I can't imagine as I keep saying because you're under scrutiny all the time. No matter and what you do, I don't care if you 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 know you do something good you and do it's something wait, good. how come he didn't do something better? Yeah. Right, you know? right, like, right. Yeah. And you're bettering yourself and they're gonna say, oh, he'll he'll go back, he'll go back. It's like, yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. win. I know, I, can't I know, win, I know. No matter uh, what I do, you know, so. Well, how is this new scandal, you know, obviously you can briefly talk about it. And just, how is that <laughs> The scandal, the well, scandal. Everybody scandal. wants to know about the scandal. Yeah. I mean, for Jax, I feel like he's gotten closer with Ariana through all of this drama because you know they all i don't know if you know this but they always had their like fights in him and sandoval haven't really been that close for the past couple of years but ariana's being, been around and she's came to cruz's birthday party and she just seems like she's doing great so i feel like on that side things are better but we haven't talked to tom or anything if, yeah like if that. you want to tap into it a little bit like i said i i haven't nothing against ariana we're just two different people sure. we're just two different people we just sure. never really got along we butt heads but ever since this has happened I feel like she's a different person. I ran into her a few times. She, I think I've seen her now about five times since she this whole really thing. She seems really happy now. And she just seems really happy. She seems like a totally different person. Totally different person. Awesome. Like the Good weight was lifted off her yeah. shoulders yeah. or something. Yeah. And she I swear. just seems like a beautiful person. Yeah. She looks gorgeous. She looks great. It, yeah. Like she said, it seems like a huge weight was lifted off her yeah, shoulders. Yeah, yeah. And she just seems really happy. I'm and, sure it, it's been really hard still, but she's just... I think she has a huge like, support system yeah. right now yeah, too. Yeah, she's coping well. Oh yeah. That. I think she's doing okay. I think that she's benefiting a lot from this. Yeah. And and uh, and like I said, it's it's she spent what almost a decade of her life with this guy who, God knows how long this has been going on. I mean, you can hear this and you hear that, but nobody really knows sure. how long this is going on. Well, when you think about like I have an somebody idea. every single day for that long, it's almost like you're mourning them. You know, yeah. like that's. Yeah. Yeah. Like well, losing he, somebody because you, she literally lived in the house with him and everything. Yeah. He was really never that around. That would be so He was kind of doing his own thing whenever he wanted. They coming still live home together. He coming home whenever he wants. So he's not the type of person that can sit home and like, let's have, watch him. Let's have a movie night. That's yeah. not who he is. He's got to be going, 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 always going out, drinking, yada, yada. Just never at home and saying, hey, let's spend some let's time connect. together. Let's go on let's, a date. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's just not who he is. Yeah. And I think that just took a toll on her. It took a toll. It would take a toll on any woman, yeah. really. Yeah. I mean, listen, that becomes a drug. Maybe it becomes like a drug. That, and I think, you're conditioned to. you know, listen, I bend down the road that he's been down. I don't really have too much of a leg to stand on in this topic. The only thing I can say is the, his lack of empathy through all this. And I think just the way he did this, I mean, how long it's been going on and bringing this girl into his home that he shares with Ariana and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and playing this game, the charade and like having, you know, Raquel try to be in Ariana's corner. And it was just like, it was a little disturbing. Yeah. It was a little disturbing. Well, but, yeah, I uh, hated that she was just around in front of their face all the time, geez, and, and just nobody staying knew. At their house it's just, it's just messed up. It's all messed up. It yeah. is a really, really messed up situation. And and now, you know, him doing a podcast, and I just feel like there's no. He's not sorry at all. He hasn't really given like an, an apology. He's just kind of like going out and saying, "This is why I did what I did. I'm the victim." Kind of yeah. poking fun of it. I kind of heard bits and pieces of his Howie Mandel podcast, and. Uh, it was just kind of scary to listen to. It's almost like he's just not there. It's almost very yeah. It's yeah. scary. It's yeah. really scary. There's no well, there's it, no sadness. There's no like, gosh, I messed up. I screwed up. Like I know when I went through this process uh, or this deal, uh, I was mortified. I, it took me forever. It, like the next day, I don't know if you remember. I hate talking <laughs> about this, but it was it was an awful situation when I went through this. And not for uh, you, for not me. Not for you. <laughs> oh yeah, of course for you. Yeah. yeah but yeah, it was. Yeah. I was so. 
upset with what I've done. There was yeah. no, he was not upset about any of this. I don't understand. How I think can he's you trying not... to blame her instead of take responsibility. He could have just broken up with her a long time ago yeah, yeah. instead That's of doing right this. There. That's yeah, what's exactly. ridiculous. Exactly. So he doesn't yeah. put the blame on her anybody. Yeah. And, you know, it doesn't take be... it and be a man and be like, you know what? I effed up. I'm a grown ass man. Well, I screwed up. It shows how your mental health has uh, improved over <laughs> the years and how it's made you stronger. I mean, the, the idea is y you have. Uh, you know, you paid your dues, and and I think knowing that now, and you have a completely, I, I'm imagining completely different vantage point on it now. And yeah. so, you know, I mean, definitely a, you have thing. to learn and grow from stuff like that, or we would have never made it. Right, 100%. right. And so, I worked my ass off yeah. to make to get my relationship back, to earn her trust yeah. back. It wasn't, it didn't take overnight. No, like, no, I worked no. my ass right. off yeah. to yeah. get that. And uh, again, we're two different people. I, it, I know that, it's a different situation because he's actually wanting to be with Raquel, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is a so, whole, yeah. That's just heartbreaking. I couldn't, mm. yeah. couldn't imagine. Well, listen, um, on a lighter note. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, We're talked out of the scandal. <laughs> yeah, listen, uh, thank you for talking about it. I know, I know I the mind. media has probably been the world. Uh, all over you over it. But, um, you know, you guys, not only have you maintained your relationship, you guys have maintained your looks. You guys look amazing. <laughs> Thanks to you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks no, to you and Payment, for Thanks sure. Thanks to you and Payment, absolutely. <laughs> you know, we had a small part, small little part. But, uh, no, you guys, have, uh, you really look great. Thank um, you. You know, I know that you use different products and stuff like that. And I know that we've uh, you used some of the Beverly Hills MD products. Oh, yes, we love um, Our listeners were asking, you know, some of the, they write in and say, okay, what do you guys use? Because they have said that you look amazing and your skin looks really good. Ooh. What's your go-to's? Um, and it can be non Beverly Hills MD. It can be Beverly Hills MD, whichever you know, the idea is, what's your go-to? Well, I'm not just saying this just to, to say it, but I've been using your products since day one. <laughs> Every and, time uh, we go into your office, he takes home a bit bag. Like, oh, <laughs> what do you guys got? What do you guys got? Yes. Um, and, and I'm, listen, I'm not going to lie. I do get Botox. Okay. Yeah, I, you know what? I love it. And it's my face. It's the world we live in. It's my yep. job, you know, yep. to look good, but you also have to use good skincare mm -hmm. too. You know, you have to, you can't just do Botox and that's it. You got to use I say we use the, the face cream the most. Yeah, the face cream is my favorite and a, and a little bit of a toner as well. But yeah, uh, but yeah this is this is our job. So you got to take like care of your skin. I like the scrub that has like the little crystals in it. I can't think of what it's called yes, exactly. It's, it's our fine silk. It's our it's essentially um, our exfoliator. Yes, so, I love that one. Um, it is such a great product. Yes. I really do love it because it's really fine instead of some of the coarser granules. And, and so, it makes you feel really clean. Yes. <laughs> I'm yep. just saying. Yep. I love it. And, and, you know, being off the show for a while, I'm not going out as much as I used to. I'm now with a kid. I'm not drinking as much as I used to. I'm not saying yeah. I don't drink at all. I, I do once in a while, but not like I used to. I'm yeah. working out a lot more, taking care of my body a, a lot better, watching what I eat. Uh, my cheat days are, uh, you know, a lot less than they used to be. Fewer and far between. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. so... Um, but yeah, I mean, there's, there's, it requires a lot. You can't just do one thing. You have to do a bunch of different things. And I think as I get older, I'm starting to watch certain things and what I do, what I put on my skin and reading, you know, more, more used to never care. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's, I love it. You know? I love it. Well, listen, what's next? Tell us why, well, you know, we, you started the podcast. What's next? For all of the listeners and viewers, what, what should we be excited about? Is there anything? Oh, yeah. We There's have, a lot to be excited about. We I, have, wish we could, I wish we could talk about it. Yeah, we have, yeah. We, have, we have like two or three projects that we can't really talk about yet, but things are coming, so we're excited about that. But mm -hmm. one of our shows is out on Peacock. It's called uh, Watch with Brittany Cartwright and Jax Taylor, and we go back and watch the Vanderpump Rules episodes and we do all the commentary on it and it's just like our reactions to it. episodes it's that we haven't seen yet. So we have one episode that came out on Thursday. So you, anybody can go watch it on Peacock and we'll have new episodes coming out every Thursday. It's a lot of fun. I get That's to look like, at it from like the outside. Exactly. Yes. A third party the viewer. third party, you know, being away from it for a couple of years, it was kind of nice. Now I can be like, oh my gosh, want, you know, this we is... We got yeah, to yeah, sit yeah. on our couch with cameras and just like watch a show for the first time because we got to watch shows that haven't aired yet so that. nobody had seen them and we can't like you know so it was just really cool just to be able to come downstairs sit on our couch and like eat popcorn and watch a tv show the best great. job ever I'm like, I, i'll do these all day long yeah. they're, they're great you know and but every thursday tune in peacock yes it's, awesome. a, it's a lot of fun
Yeah, listen, you know, Jax, Brittany, I really appreciate it. We've been friends for a long time, and uh, um, I really appreciate you guys because I know that you're busy, new parents, you know, relatively new parents. Well, thank um, you. And with all this new stuff happening, I'm proud of you both. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, you do a lot for yeah. us, too. Yeah, you so do a lot for us, and we, we really, really appreciate to you, too. Yeah, anytime, anytime. Like I said, uh, we love coming to see you guys, and uh, you, you make us look good. And after, yeah. I, have, after <laughs> I have another kid, I'm coming right back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany's, got a, Brittany's got a list of things she wants to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen, understood, understood. We're, we are here as necessary. Yes, so, you guys are well, the best.